Today, we're making something really special, so versatile, so delicious, so easy to enjoy at any meal. Hola, welcome to Mediterranean Minutes, the channel that helps you learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day. Today, we're gonna to take a deep dive into quinoa, an ingredient that's so versatile, you can enjoy it at any mealtime in all sorts of ways. But I've heard from some viewers, it's difficult to get it right. Lots of times it could turn out sticky or mushy, so I'd like to begin with a quick review of how to make foolproof quinoa every time, and then put together three great quinoa recipes. So let's get started. Most quinoa is pre-washed, but give it a good rinse to get rid of any excess residue. I'll be using an instant pot on the rice setting, so my ratio will be one and a half cups of quinoa to one and three quarter cups of water and a touch of salt. If you use the stove top, add a full two cups of water. Quinoa is such an amazing ingredient. This tiny little seed contains all nine essential amino acids that your body needs to function and stay healthy every day. So I love to use it for breakfast in the morning, at lunchtime in a salad, or as a side with dinner. And it's the perfect gluten-free alternative to rice or pasta because it cooks up just like a rice or pasta would and makes a great addition to a plate. Once the cycle is finished, Lightly fluff the quinoa with a fork and cover it with paper towel to rest in the cooker for another 30 minutes. Be patient. Now it's time to transfer it to a cookie sheet and let it rest for another 30 minutes and then lightly toss it with a bit of olive oil. At this stage, the quinoa will last for a week in the fridge or much longer in the freezer. But we're gonna play with it right now and make some great salads. The only switch out to this traditional tabbouleh salad is the use of quinoa instead of bulgar. I'm using my homemade pickled garlic to add a touch of sweet to the spice. It's always a good idea to toss the quinoa with half the dressing before adding all the other ingredients. Always remember to save some of the salad bits to dress the top of the salad and the top of the bowls. Typically, you'll find three different types in your grocery store. The most popular is tan or white quinoa because it cooks up the fluffiest and it's the most mild in flavor. Red quinoa will add a nutty flavor and a slightly chewier texture, and black quinoa is great if you're looking to add an earthy umami flavor to any dish. I like the combination that I get from all three when I buy them already pre-mixed in the store and I'm ready to go. The simple, rich flavor combination of this quinoa salad is extraordinary and one of my favorites. Rich, Thick, deeply flavored balsamic vinegar is the magic in this dressing. Use the best you can find. I'm using arugula today for its spicy flavor, but just choose the freshest green you like. Be 
be really gentle when you add the goat cheese so that it retains its chunky shapes. A little side note that's helpful to know about quinoa, especially because it takes a little bit of time to make, is that it will store in the refrigerator for three to five days, and even better, it'll store in the freezer. So anytime you wanna make a great big batch of quinoa and know that you've got it at the ready for salads or for side dishes or even to throw into some soup, all you have to do is open the freezer and grab a bag. I'm always looking for ways to use the homemade pickled radishes I just pulled from my garden. And this spicy, fresh, and creamy salad is a great solution. Another favorite are my homemade preserved lemons, and if you'd like to learn to make them, I'll post a link in the description below. Are you noticing a pattern here? I'm tossing in some of my pickled red onions. <laughs> 